हे हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अडी रिक्शी फाय फाइनेंस एंड ऑपरेशन मॉड्यूल वाइज ट्रेनिंग सीरीज सो दिस वीडियो इज अवर कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो विच वी क्रिएटेड फॉर परचेस ऑर्डर वर्क फ्लो सो दिस इज अ पार्ट टू ऑफ अवर परचेस ऑर्डर वर्क फ्लो सो इफ यू डोंट वॉच अवर प्रीवियस एपिसोड देन आई सजेस्ट यू टू प्लीज वॉच अवर प्रीवियस एपिसोड देन यू कैन कंटिन्यू विद दिस एपिसोड सो इन अवर प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी क्रिएटेड परचेस ऑर्डर वर्क फ्लो फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एंड इन दिस पार्ट to we use that purchase order workflow for newly created purchase order and we also explore some various option in the purchase order workflow so this is our workflow which we created in our previous episode so let i'll click on this and again give you just short recap of our previous episode so in this assignment i have assigned my user as a manager and in the condition we set the condition like if the purchase order is created for this specific 0001 uh, vendor then only we need a manager approval otherwise this purchase order workflow will be automatically approved so which means if the purchase order is created for any vendor except this 001 vendor then we need to submit that workflow but system will automatically approve this workflow once they catch in the batch process so we don't need any manager approval for any other vendor except this vendor so let's go ahead and create our first purchase order for this workflow so let's close this first okay now we move to the procurement and sourcing module here all purchase order so here you can see that our purchase order workflow option is enabled so in our previous video of the purchase order you don't find this option workflow this option is only enable when we enable the workflow option in the purchase order workflow parameters so and one more thing you need to note here that the purchase order which we created before uh, enabling this workflow option will not get any workflow functionality for the manager approval let's say this purchase order we created before enabling the workflow so you can see that this purchase order workflow option is grayed out for that purchase order so it's only enable for newly created purchase order so let's uh, create some purchase order so let i create one purchase order here i assign this vendor for which we required a manager approval so i select my previous limited vendor this vendor we have created in our previous episode of procurement and sourcing module you can check out Uh, that videos if you want to know how to create a purchase order i will attach the link in the i button so you can check out that video so here i just mention the warehouse okay so here i add the item so i have added the item and set the quantity for this purchase order as a one so once we fulfill the all the information then we click on this workflow option and submit the workflow here you can see that our notification will be pop up please approve my purchase order workflow number and the purchase order workflow number will be dynamically generated because we have used the placeholder in the notification tab so let's submit this so here you can mention the comment to ask your manager to approve this uh, workflow please approve this purchase order so we set the comment and click on the submit button so our purchase order workflow is submitted now so now it will send a notification to your manager that to approve this workflow so this option is only enable when the batch process of workflow catch your workflow and execute this so let me i'll show you the batch process for this workflow so i just duplicate this tab it to the system administration here we have the option of batch jobs in the database so let's click on this batch job in the batch job section we filter with the workflow keyword so you can in the job description mention the contents workflow so here we have the four batch jobs which created by default by the microsoft for this workflow sometimes what happen uh, you submit that workflow for your manager didn't get any option to approve this workflow this happen because these jobs are getting sometimes failed or it's or the status of this batch jobs is on hold so make sure this batch jobs in in a waiting state or you can also set the recurrence so here in the batch jobs which to enhance form 
let's again search for the work flow so in the set in the recurrence you can see that we have set the recurrence for every one minute this job will be automatically run so you can set that also you can set the uh, one second or more than uh, less than one minute so you can see that now our job is executing so let's refresh this page so our job is complete let's again move to our purchase order refresh this page so see now our approval option is enabled so here we can set our workflow setup to our manager so because of this it give us access to approve this workflow so just approve this workflow now just approve okay so in the workflow history once we approve this workflow all the operations are happening in the back end you can see in the purchase order workflow history so here you can see that first it's create a workflow then it check our precondition and then it's create the workflow and the last status is of of our workflow is approved so let's refresh this if your workflow is failed due to any uh, condition so you can just go to the workflow history and check the condition or error message you will get here just go back here so you can see that our purchase order status will be changed to approved previously it's draft when we submit the workflow the status of this purchase order will be in review and once manager approved your workflow then the status of the purchase order will be changed to approved as our purchase order workflow is approved but now as a user i suddenly got a request for change or increase the demand of this item so instead of one quantity now we required a five quantity but here you can see that let's when you try to edit this quantity system will not give you option to edit and it's all the fields are locked because we have submit the workflow and our workflow is approved so to enable this field or edit this approval we go to our purchase order here we have we have the option of change request once you click on this change request you can see that our status of purchase order workflow is changed from approved to again draft and system will give you option to edit this quantity so we again check the quantity and set it as a five again save this option now we again need to submit this workflow because we have changed the purchase order so we again submit this workflow this workflow will be go for the manager approval so your manager review this purchase order and again approve this purchase order so i just submit this again let's refresh this once our badge of kick off this purchase order then you will get the option to approve this yeah so in the workflow we also have other options instead of approve we can also reject this purchase order as a, we have the manager approval other than this we have change request like we have more actions like we have delegate we use the delegate let's say i am the manager and i am so busy so i don't have time to review this purchase order because as a manager sometimes we have lot of purchase order to review so in that case we use the delegate option so i delegate this purchase order to my colleague so i just click on this delegate option here you get the all the user option in the system so here for example i set it as a prakash so prakash as my colleague approve this this particular purchase order so system will give notification to the prakash that he need to review this purchase order and approve this purchase order so by using this delegate functionality you can assign your approval authority to some other user so this purchase order will no longer wait for manager approval so i just cancel this for now other than delegate we have option like a request change so for the request change now i am the purchasing manager and i decided that the five quantity which is made by the requester is still not enough i feel that there could be a potential or we need a purchase other quantity in some item for the safety stock in the inventory so i am not satisfied with the purchase order quantity so i can go here and click on the change request so as a manager i requested to the requester to change the quantity of this purchase order so i type the comment here that for increase the quantity of the item please change 
परचेस ऑर्डर क्वान्टिटी टू टेन एंड क्लिक ऑन द रिक्वेस्ट चेंज सो लेट मी वेट टू वर्क फ्लो एडेड इन द बैच प्रोसेस जस्ट रिफ्रेस दिस सो अवर स्टेटस इज चेंज नाउ फर्स्ट इट्स इन रिव्यू नाउ इट्स इन रिजेक्टेड सो वेन मैनेजर रिक्वेस्टेड फॉर चेंज रिक्वेस्ट और अप्रूवल अथॉरिटी रिक्वेस्ट फॉर एनी चेंज इन द पी ओ देन स्टेटस विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली चेंज टू रिव्यू टू रिजेक्टेड सो एज अ यूजर वी नीड टू परफॉर्म सम नेसेसरी एक्शन एंड अगेन सबमिट दिस वर्क फ्लो फॉर द अप्रूवल सो इन द वर्क फ्लो वी विल गेट द मैसेज दैट सो सी द करंट रेकॉर्ड हैज बीन रिटर्न टू यू एंड यू हैव बीन आस्क टू मेक अ चेंज सो परफॉर्म एनी रिक्वायर्ड एक्शन एंड चूज द रिसबमिट द रिज्यूम प्रोसेसिंग सो हेयर आई अगेन चेंज द क्वांटिटी I just added this and change the requested quantity to ten and submit save this and again submit this workflow. So I'll get the option to resubmit. So I just click on this resubmit button. So in this case, I have put the message that purchase and click on this resubmit. so this workflow will be submitted to for the submitted to manager manager will get the notification review this purchase order and approve this purchase order this time so this is our another approach we use for the purchase order workflow process so that's it for this video i hope in this two episode of our purchase order workflow you will get the basic idea about to create a purchase order workflow and how to use that purchase order workflow in the purchase order document So if you have any question regarding the workflow or you have any advanced question related to workflow please let me know in the comment section i will definitely help you in this if you like this video please hit that like button and from the next episode we will start with the purchase requisition and in the purchase requisition also we have workflow for the purchase requisition so to get an latest update about all these videos of the rickshaw finance and operation series Make sure you subscribe to our channel stay tuned with us and thank you for watching